Good morning, it's Ed from Edflix, and we're going to go over the new update from Durex Build that runs on your Kodi. I've just updated this Kodi with a new build. Oh, here I am. Hello. I used Durex Build because it had over 45 add ons already built into it. You still have access to all those add-ons, but they are not already installed. So you just install the ones you want to use. There are a handful already installed. The top trending add-ons are already on in the build. So if everything's working fine, you don't have to do anything. Again, this is your Durex build inside Kodi. And the menus are the same. These widgets, these one-click widgets, if you click on any one of these boxes, two or three clicks, you're watching that movie. So you have movies, TV shows, family. Durex TV is a paid service from Durex. If you would like to get in contact with them, they're on Facebook, or you can message me, and I will put, give you the Facebook link. Pay TV is basically the same thing. Durex TV is a paid service, but these other ones are also paid services, and you can pay a monthly fee for better streams. But then you have the free ones. And this, you have to roll the dice because sometimes the streams aren't as good. But I, I don't pay for anything. So the free TVs and the free links are more than a, a sufficient. So you have sports. This is where you're going to find your MMA bites. This is where you're going to find your soccer and uh, your pay-per-view events. You got music. APKs. APKs are extra uh, programs that run on your stick that you can access through here. You have MobDraw on your stick. You have Terrarium already on your stick. So these are a couple other ones that if you'd like to install and play with, feel free. Miscellaneous. The adult section still works. You just have to download the add-ons. The password is 1234. And back to movies. All right, so you want to add on right now. Placenta is the only add-on that is in here. So I will go in and we will click on Genesis Reborn. And it says uh, I have to download the add-on. So a simple click. Without all the add-ons already installed, the updating when you first power on Kodi takes just a minute instead of 10 minutes like it used to. And there you go, it is on. So this we can look for all different, if you like Genesis Reborn, you got new movies, new TV shows, channels. So we'll go to new movies. What was that little box in the corner? It says it's working, that means it's communicating with the whatever server this is. There we go. These are a list of new movies. You got Deadpool, Blockers, Quiet Place, Ready Player One. I know this is a now DVD copy. So I will click on it. There we go. So now this is just using Genesis Reborn to search for this file. So it's searching for writers, it's searching, it's scraping the internet, looking for the content of the file. So far we have five files so far. One 1080 version. Oh. Now at this time you can cancel, as long as this list gets populated with a big number, five isn't that great, so I'm not gonna cancel it, I'm gonna let it find some more. There we go. It's finding over 300, oh, almost 300, 250, 500. So I'm going to hit cancel at any time. So now the list is going to come up. Top ones, the better qualities are all going to be on top. Let me go for a 720. 
just because it's a little easier on the buffering and I want it to load fast. And boom, looks like it's the Chinese version. And nice HD quality, ready player one. Let's fast forward a little bit. Play. Uh, it looks like this version has a little bit of blur on the bottom. We had some sort of code or maybe some Chinese uh, subtitles. But totally watchable. And different servers are going to have different copies of the same file. So we'll stop this. Oh, if I hit the home button by accident. Let's get back into Cody. Go. So I use the U turn and I back out and I get back to the home page again. Let's say you can look for TV shows, any of these add ons underneath. There's normally going to be one, normally the first one, Kiddo is probably installed, but all these other ones you can install yourself just by hitting one of the boxes. Alrighty. And that's your Cody update. I hope it works better for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks.